Hi everybody, Father Bill here, and it is the Friday Reflection. Hey, uh, last week I forgot. No, I didn't actually. I was sick, and I want to apologize, or at least uh, thank you for your patience with me. I came down with a cold on like Wednesday, and by Thursday night I was running a fever. So I don't know if that's still a cold or not, or what that is. But anyhow, I then had to call in a big favor, and I asked one of the priests. Actually, I texted the priest in the area if I could get help on Friday morning because I just I knew I shouldn't be around people. I needed to rest. So uh, Father Randy Wong from St. Cecilia Parish did that for me. Thank you, Randy. You are awesome. You know, he did Mass, but he did the Adoration and Benediction and also Confessions afterwards. So yay, thank you. It's wonderful to see our young priest being able to step, step up and help us old priests, right? Okay, so that's just, uh, I want to thank him for that. And again, that was last week. So this week, uh, I just wanted to let you know that as I'm here, it is a Friday and it is not Christmas anymore, but look what's still up here. So I obviously still have my Christmas ornaments up. And this is about as much as I did was the my little one for the dog, my little sock for the dog, and then another one for here. My sister made, my sister Anne made these and one for me. And the Christmas tree is still up, which was helped and decorated by one of my other sisters, Marianne. In fact, she, this is the tree she gave me. And I just haven't put it put it away yet. It's a fake tree, which I think that's easy to take care of. And I'm, I should just, I just need to do it. So maybe, maybe we'll have some outtakes and you can watch me take down the Christmas tree. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay, so it's not Christmas anymore. Uh, and so I want to think, well, how can I kind of put this together? So let's just do it this way. Let's just say the theme today is five. So I have a list of five things, and I want to talk about the first thing. The first thing about the five things is Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Wolfgang Gottlieb Amadeus Mozart. And he, he was only five years old when he composed his first known com composition called a Minuet in and Trio, a Minuet and Trio in G Major. I have to read my little notes here for this. Minuet in trio in G major. And he was five years old. That's pretty incredible, don't you think? Because that's number one of the five things. So yay for Mozart. In fact, hmm, you might be hearing that music now. Uh, the other thing is uh, we have five fingers, right? On each hand, five fingers normally, and five toes on each hand, right? That's exciting, right? Okay, so that's another five. We have five senses. What are they, right? Hearing, seeing, smelling, tasting, and touching. That's our, our five senses. But you know, there's one more. There's one more sense. And so this is kind of cheating, but that would be five plus one. Or if you're an audiophile, you'd call it a 5.1, kind of like Dolby, right? But that point one in this case is not either those physical senses, but it's a, it's a spiritual sense. It's a sense of faith. Think of it like these ways of uh, our senses, our physical, tactile or smelling, whatever it might be. These are biological senses. But we have a sense to come to knowledge as well of our world that is faith. And through faith, we can come to know things. Faith, we come to know and trust that, for example, there will be peas and carrots in a bag of peas and carrots. But even more so, we can proceed through faith that God is real and know that he loves us. And he uh, wants to be in a relationship with you and with me. So that's, and that's an important thing because faith is critical for our, for our development as Catholic Christians, right? We need to have faith in our Lord Jesus so, uh, and submit ourselves to him and we can have life through that. So that's faith. And related to faith, then there's five seasons in our church liturgical year. And we just finished one of them, but that's not the first one. So the first season of the year is, everybody, <clears throat> Advent. That's right. And the next one, we just did that one. So the next one I've got that is Christmas. And I still have that, right? Christmas. So what's after Christmas? Well, it's ordinary time. And that's what we're in. So I was really surprised. I'm so used to Christmas and then right after Christmas, Christmas ending, not at the Epiphany, but at the baptism of the Lord. And that's when it did end. But I was kind of taken back, wasn't expecting, wasn't planning. I was, I was sick. That's what I'm going to say. I was sick, you know. Um, but anyhow, right after you picked me, uh, the next day was the baptism of the Lord and then it ended, right? That was last Monday. And now we're on Friday. So we're almost through with the first week of ordinary time. 
And this is an interesting thing because there is no first Sunday in ordinary time because that Sunday that preceded to this week was Epiphany. So there's no actually first Sunday in ordinary time, but there is a first week minus a Sunday. So we, well, actually minus, minus even, even Monday because Monday was the baptism of the Lord. So it was Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and on. And this weekend is the second, second Sunday in ordinary time. Yes, right. And I'll be preaching on things that are kind of ordinary. I won't get into that exactly, but I just want to let you know that's that. That's a, it's, in fact, some people say it's not even a season. It's just what we do outside of the other festivals or seasons. And it continues until, well, in fact, there's another number. We have 5.5 uh, 5 weeks of ordinary time until it is the beginning of Lent. And that starts with Ash Wednesday. And Ash Wednesday begins Lent. That's right. And Lent then moves on till Easter but then Easter ends as well, and we come into, after Easter, uh, ordinary time again. So it picks up. And the ordinary time will end somewhere near, uh, like, week 34, week, 30, uh, week 33, or week, 30, week 33, or week 34. Because when we have to start the new calendar over, and we start with Advent again. So that'd be Advent of 2023. That's where we are. We're in ordinary time. The first round of it and we're currently in the week one which is a partial week of ordinary time so the word ordinary comes from the latin word which means to be counted and that's why we have first week and second week and a third week of ordinary time and what is the difference between this week versus all those other or this kind of season if you call it than the other seasons well those other seasons really specialize in a theme advent is the preparation time for the coming of Jesus and Christmas time is the actual celebration of, of the first coming of Jesus in participation and hope of the second coming of Jesus. Uh, during Lent, we are in a penitential season like Advent, but a little more intensive penitential season, preparing, you know, probably not eating meat on Fridays and maybe doing some fasting, maybe abstaining of meat on other situations, but we are preparing, going to confession. Maybe you've added something, a special thing to do for Lent. And it's preparation time for Easter. And then Easter begins, and that's a celebration of, of course, the resurrection of Jesus Christ, the greatest of all the events. Uh, and we take Christmas and Easter as kind of our pitiful little times, but even Easter is greater than Christmas. It is our most high holy day. So those are our seasons. And then after again, we start picking up ordinary time where we kind of left off, whatever month or whatever week that was. After Easter season, we pick it up and keep going. So... It's a time, ordinary time, is a time when we celebrate all the other things Jesus was doing. So it wasn't about his birth. We're not talking about his birth or death and resurrection. We're talking about his ordinary life, his time, ordinary for Jesus, right? Where he heals the sick, <clears throat> he raises the dead, he cures lepers, he preaches. This is his day-to-day -day work kind of thing. And that's what we're doing during ordinary time. And it's our call then to kind of take that in, reflect on that, ask ourselves, how are we doing that? And are we doing that ourselves? Are we being able to participate in the calling we have received to do similar things? Now, we're not God, yes, I grant you that. But are we doing something? Because we are called to proclaim the gospel, right? At the end of Mass, if it was Latin, it would be ite mise est, that is, go on mission. And our mission is to know, grow, and go, right? So we're trying to know God to want to grow in him, become deeper in relationship with him, and then go tell other people. So during this ordinary time, that's when we get this stuff in action. So what are we going to do? What are you going to do? And maybe really ponder on doing something that is evangelical, that is of the gospel, proclaiming it somehow through some kind of action of generosity. Or you know what you might even consider is, and I'm doing this myself, I may take up a practice of reading the whole Bible, the beginning to the end. Or maybe the catechism. Well, in fact, there happens to be uh, two good podcasts you can check out. And they're both by Father Mike Schmitz. One is the Bible in the Year. And the other one is the Catechism in the Year. And the Catechism in the Year is new. So as I record this, it's the 12th. But that'll be the 14th or 15th by the time you may see this video. You can catch up on those other ones if you want. They're numbered very simply at this point because we're in the first month. 15th episode is, of course, done on the 15th of January, etc. So you can catch up if you want. Uh, it's amazing when you do the Bible in year how uh, broken humanity is. And 
uh, how much we need a savior and how messy the patriarchs were and 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 how many fumbles they they were involved in as far as just trying to to be the people that God wanted them to be. So that's our five things. Five things. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart was five years old. We have five fingers, five toes in our, each of our feet and each of our hands. And we have five senses. We have five seasons. And we have five and a half weeks until Ash Wednesday. So let's make the most out of this time of um, ordinary time, I guess. And go out and evangelize. Go out and proclaim the gospel in simple and big and small ways. Meantime... I'll see you at this weekend's Mass. Talk to you later.